Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn how to calculate quartiles Q1, Q2, and Q3. We will learn to calculate the quartiles in Excel. So let's move on to the Microsoft Excel worksheet. I have taken the question to calculate the quartile quartiles. First of all, we will deal with individual series and we will go on to discrete series and finally we end our video by doing the continuous series continuous series so now let's uh, do for the uh, individual series we will compute q1 q2 and q3 for quartile 1 we will use the function q u a r quartile bracket we will choose the array comma we will choose one for quartile one if we are calculating quartile two then we will choose two if we are calculating quartile three we will choose three so our intention is to calculate quartile one so i will choose one and i will select the bracket and I will <coughs> write the formula side by our answer. I have written the formula side by our, our answer. And the same process goes for Q2 and Q3. Using the same process, I have calculated Q2 and Q3. And the formula has been given by the side of our value. So now let's move on to the discrete series. In discrete series, we need CF. CF equals to 5. And we will just add it up. So I will do it fast. And the sum must be 100. And uh, the, sum of, the sum of frequency is 100. And we have obtained 100. So our calculation is right. For quartile 1, Q1. The formula is n plus 1 by 2 for discrete series. n, n means 100 plus 1 divided by 2. It's item, q1th item. No, it's 4. 1 by 4. It's 20, 25.25. And 25 lies in this segment. So Q1 equals to 30. Similar for Q2, Q2 item, we will do n plus 1, n plus 1, whole divide by 2 is 50.5. And for Q and for Q2, we will look over. We will look over the CF and 50.5 is less than 61 and greater than 47. So this is our Q2. It's 60. And for Q3 item, we will do 3 times n plus 1 means 100 plus 1 whole divided by 4. It's 75.5. It's 70 and we will make it green. Let's bold it. And for Q3, it is 70. So finally, we have calculated Q1, Q2 and Q3. For Q1, Q2 and Q3, we must simply recall our manual formula. The manual formula is Q1 item equals to n plus 1 by 4 and we will choose from uh, the data uh, with respect to the CF and same process for Q2 and Q3. Let's move on to our continuous series. In our continuous series also, we will first find CF and for CF it is same process. So I will carry on fast 
I have calculated CF. Let's do sum of frequencies. It's also 100. So now for for Q1, quartile 1, let's find out Q1 class. Q1, Q1 class. Prior to Q1 class, we need a Q1 item. For Q1 item, it's a uh, n by two n by four. It is 25. 25 lies in this range. So let's make uh, it bold. So Q1 class equals to 30 to 40 and for Q1 we must recall exact value of Q1 we must recall our manual formula our manual formula for Q1 is L plus N by 4 minus C of whole divided by F times H so we'll use the same concept here L equals to 30 plus N by 4 is 25 minus C of E is 18 just above our class our Q1 class whole divide by F means 8 times H equals to 40 minus 30 it's the height of the range our Q1 is 38.75 similarly we carry on for the midden and quartile I will do it fast here I have calculated all the three quartiles uh, Q2 and Q3 using the similar process of Q1 and I have displayed the formula that we use to calculate the Q2 and Q3 by its side uh, if we need uh, less values after point then we can shorten it by pressing go to home tab and going to numbers and pressing here it will reduce and now we have learnt the method to calculate the quartiles in individual series discrete series and continuous series we must only recall the manual formula and do it in the excel for the discrete and in continuous series and for individual series we have used the function quartile so let's save our work if you have any queries then ask in the comment box below please like my videos share it among your friends and please comment on the video please subscribe my channel study deeper download the file of the tutorial we have just done thank you for watching my videos